Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download all the files from the below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this audio visualizer. Create a new composition. Name it as audio visualizer. Depending on the music duration, you can set the time duration for this composition. For this demonstration, I will set it to just 15 seconds. Perfect. First let's add the music file. Pre-compose it. I will name it as music. Now create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. In effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the background layer. Here you can set any color of your choice. Now let's add the media file to the timeline. Here I will scale this media file. Now in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the media file. Here I will set output width to 200. Select mirror edges. Here if you want you can adjust the phase angle. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose this. Name this composition as media. For this media composition, press T to bring up opacity, set the opacity to 15%. Now let's create duplicate of this media composition. For this duplicate, we will set opacity to 35%. From the project, let's add the brush to media file to the timeline. For media file, change track mat to alpha mat brush 2. You can see the preview, now we need to stretch this brush media file. To do that, go to time, select freeze on last frame. Perfect. Now again add the media file to the timeline. Now add the brush one media file to the timeline. For media, change track mat to alpha mat brush one. Now let's stretch this brush media file. Perfect. Now let's create the rectangle frame. Select the rectangle tool. Double click on rectangle tool to create rectangle shape layer. Here you can set the stroke width. Set it to 9. For rectangle 1, for path 1, unlink the size. Here I will set the size to 650 for both X and Y. Here you are free to adjust the size for this rectangle shape. Here you can also adjust the roundness value for this rectangle shape layer. Now for this shape layer, from add, select trim path. For trim path, at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for start and end. Now at start of the timeline, set start and end to 50%. You can see the preview. 
Here you need to adjust the offset value to set the start of the rectangle. Set it to minus 45 degrees. You can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's create a new solid. I will name it as Spectrum. Now select the pen tool and create mask as shown, here I will create a straight line path. Now for this Spectrum layer, in effects and preset, search for audio Spectrum. Add it to the solid layer. Here you need to adjust the mask layer or you can create this mask layer after adding the audio spectrum. As it will be transparent layer and you can easily create mask wherever you want. For audio spectrum, change the audio layer to music composition. Change path to mask 1. Let's set the start frequency to 400. End frequency to 800. Set frequency band to 30. Set maximum height to 2000. Change the spectrum thickness to 8. Softness to 20%. Let's change the side for this frequency to side A. Here you can set the inside and outside color. Or in effects and preset, search for fill effects. Add it to the spectrum layer. Here you can set any color of your choice. For spectrum layer, press T to bring up opacity, at one second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, change opacity to 0%. Let's place this spectrum layer at one second. Perfect. Layer 1 is created. Now create duplicate of this spectrum layer. For duplicate, we will set frequency band to 90. Change display option to analog dots. Let's change thickness to 3. Now we will slightly adjust the position of this spectrum layer. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now let's add the main text. Here in this area we will add our text. Here I will add the music name. Here I am using Weber's font family. Perfect. Now let's animate the text layer. In animate, select opacity. Set opacity to 0%. Now in range select a 1, at 1 second. Create keyframe for offset, set offset to 100. Now at start of the timeline, set offset to minus 100. Now in advanced, change shape to ramp up. Now let's add property, Blur. Unlink the Blur, for X position. Set Blur value to, 400. You can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to Easy Ease. Here you can set single color or gradient color for the text layer, for gradient, in effects and preset. Search for gradient ramp. Add it to the text layer. Here you can set the start and end color of your choice.
Adjust the start and end of RAND position, as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for drop shadow, add it to the text layer. For shadow, set distance and softness to 8. Let's place this layer at 1 second. Now create duplicate of this text layer. For second text layer, place it at distance of 15 frames. From first text layer, place it below as shown. Now let's add the subtext. Here I will adjust this text layer. Perfect. Slightly adjust the ramp color and its position. You can also set single color, you can set both colors same, or add fill effect. Set color of your choice. Place the fill above the shadow effect. Perfect. No, let's add the time. Add time as shown. Now we will add the time expression. This time expression is provided in the description as well as with the project files. Copy this expression. While pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of source text. Now paste the copied expression. Perfect. Now for time layer. Press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity, at start change opacity to 0%. Now let's add the progress bar. Select the pen tool. Create a straight line below the timer as shown. Here you can adjust the stroke color and width. For this shape. Go to stroke, change line cap to, round cap. Add fill effect to the shape layer. Set fill color, you can set color of your choice. Now press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. At start. Change opacity to 0%. Now create duplicate of this layer. For shape layer 3, we need to change the fill color. For shape layer 3, let's add trim path. For trim path, at end of the timer line, create keyframe for end. At start of the timer line, change end to 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the social badges. Create a new composition. I will name it as badge 1. Set width to 400, height to 500. Now add the Amazon, Apple, Google, Spotify and YouTube lower third to timeline. Now arrange then as shown. Now we need to stretch this lower thirds. Select all lower thirds. Go to time. Select freeze on last frame. Perfect.
Now we will place this lower third at distance of 10 frames from each other. Perfect. Now let's create another composition. Name it as badge 2. For this composition, I will set width to 1920 and height to 200. Now let's add the like, share and subscribe lower third to the timer line. Arrange them. Let's scale them to 30%. Place one lower third to left, one to center, and another to right. Now let's loop them. Select all the lower thirds, go to time, enable time remapping. Now while pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of time remap. Now enter expression, loop out duration. Add same to all lower thirds. Now let's stretch the layer. You can see, our lower thirds are looped. Now we will add this badge 1 composition in audio visual composition. Place it as shown. You can scale this composition if you want. Now let's add the badge 2 composition to the timer line. Now let's place both the badge composition at 15 frames. Let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our clean audio visualizer is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.